Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel where I like to make, create, and inspire fun art things with you. Today is going to be a new video. I was inspired to sketch and draw and that was one of my New Year's goals was to fill up some more of my sketchbooks. As you see here, I have this 9 by 12 inch Arteza sketch pad with 30 sheets that I'm going to recreate and hopefully fix some of my old drawings. And the best part is that this sketchbook has black paper. I am really excited to use this. So without further ado, let's art today. To begin this drawing, I am recreating an old picture that I found in this sketchbook that I had from 6th grade and I still couldn't believe I had things from middle school. Some of them were really good and others like this gargoyle uh, was not so good. Uh, he needs a little help but once again I was in 6th grade so if younger me thought it was cool then it was. I am now sketching out the gargoyle's face. I keep going back and forth with the proportions and I know it's still a little off, but not everything in my sketchbooks are masterpieces and I have to keep reminding myself that. After I got the sketch where I liked it, I really wanted to color in my gargoyle and to do so I will be using these Prisma colored colored pencil sets. I'm still getting used to colored pencils. It's not really my strong suit, but I really wanted to try them out on this black paper. So I chose to color in the gargoyle in different hues of purple. I first go in with light pink and then I kept adding different layers of purple on top until I felt that it looked good for me. I can honestly say I was having a really hard time with this drawing. I kept second guessing myself and I wanted to stop, but I kept pushing myself to go forward. I really had to tell myself that this was a learning experience. I have been told by many and probably sure you have heard the same thing is that artists are their own hardest critics. We tend to put ourselves and our artwork down a lot and I know I do that often and I don't want to anymore. I want to take everything that I do and try to see it as a learning experience and be good to myself and my artwork. <laughs> Anyways, going back to the drawing, I really like this paper. It says that it is acid free and it's a variety of dry media and I just love how easy and smooth it took on these colored pencils. Now I have been told that Prisma colored pencils are really good by a few people and I really like them. They're smooth and they're easy to blend with. As I said before, I'm still learning how to blend and make everything work and look a little bit neater. But I really liked how the brightness of the colored pencils popped off of this black paper. While I am coloring in the rest of my gargoyle, if you can take this time to please hit that subscribe button, be sure to click on the bell notification, and now there, there's a drop down menu, you must click all so that you can always be notified by YouTube when I upload a new video. And I would really love for you to be part of my virtual art family. Also, since you are right there, if you enjoy this type of content, please give this video a thumbs up. It does really help my channel to grow and it also lets me know that you enjoy art as much as I do. And here is the final look on my gargoyle and I think he turned out pretty good even though I was having a little trouble at the beginning with proportion sizes and blending I think he turned out to be decent not my favorite but still good here's the original photo from sixth grade and I'm thinking about doing him again but closer to the original drawing with the wings and him sitting on a rock if you would like to see that leave me a comment down below So 
Moving on to our next drawing that I want to recreate is this eyeball guy who's holding two spray cans in each hand that I made back in 2014. I can't believe how long ago that seems. Anyways, I first start off by sketching him out. Once again, I'm not going to recreate him exactly like the original, but I try to get as close as I can. And then I did add some other things to this drawing that I really like. So some of you already know, if you have been following me for quite some time, these are my type of go-to drawings. I like weird, creepy creatures slash doodle types. And if you would like to see more of those, I will leave a link here of a playlist of my doodles and also in the description box below. Now that I have my sketch completed, it is time to color it in. And I want to try to use my Posca and my paint pens for this, even though the sketchbook says it's for dry media, I still wanted to give it a try. So first I will be painting in the little clouds around my little eye friend, which technically are paint fumes because he is spraying the spray paint. Anyways, I first go in with this baby blue color and I absolutely love this color and how vibrant it jumps off of the black paper. Then I go in with a bright neon pink also on the other cloud or fumes, whatever you like. I must say though, when using paint on this type of paper that is made for dry media, to add your first layer first, let it completely dry, and then go in with your second layer because if it gets too saturated, the paper starts flaking up and it can rip. Now that my first layer of paint has dried completely, I'm going in with a darker paint pen and adding some shadows to the clouds. So here is where I try to get a little fancy and try to blend the pink paint pen and the red paint pen together, but I don't think paint pens were made to blend easily because it did not work. I just kept adding more paint and then it started to rip my paper, so I stopped. So you are now going to see me continue filling up the rest of my photo or my picture with using the paint pens. I bounce back and forth making sure I don't overlap or mess up the first layer of a section while it dries. Never break, always fight, never quit, do it right, play the game, win it life, have no shame, there's no time, feel the pain. The grind, I could change in my mind. Pick a lane, commit and climb. The only way to win in life. I never miss that stack. 
so lastly to fill in is the actual eyeball and I do want to mention I did give everything two coats of paint so after the page completely dried I went back over it with the same colors and added a second coat next and finally I will add some shadowing and my favorite part which is adding highlights and outlining everything and here's how this piece turned out i absolutely love this piece i love how bright the colors are popping off of that black paper and here is the original piece back when i did it in 2014 and i think i did a really good job coming close i did add a few little more elements and i didn't make his feet but i still love it anyways if you love it as much as i do please smash that thumbs up button it really does help me out and it lets me know that you love my little eyeball guy too as always thank you all so much for watching and i will see you in the next one